Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to add functionality of uh, weapon drop. So, in real games uh, like IGI, if you play that game, you can kill the enemy and enemy will drop a weapon and you can collect that weapon. So, we want to add that functionality. So, what we can do, we can create a script for this purpose and this script is really simple i will just uh, name it drop weapon and we will open this script uh, in video studio now in script we will just create a public game object for the prefab so i will just add public and game object and for this game object we can name it gun and uh, we will create a function for weapon drop and we will say public uh, wide uh, weapon drop whatever name you can assign it's up to you and here we will say instantiate uh, and we want to instantiate the gun and we want to instantiate at the right position where our enemy is and we will make a uh, rotation uh, to 0, 0, 0, okay. So for that we will add quaternion dot identity. We will save the script and now we can move to our unity and inside unity uh, we will just uh, wait for compiling the script and uh, now when the file uh, script is compiled then we can create any game object like this so i will create it again and uh, you can rename it for example weapon drop and here we can add this script uh, now in this script you can see we have a slot for gun and we want to add the gun which we want to uh, instantiate when he dies so this is the ak-47 shooter okay so what we will select we will select ak-47 gun here so also this gun is for uh, yeah we want for player our gun okay so we will go to invector shooter prefabs weapons and here is the weapon and here is the collectibles so we will select the ak-47 collectible and drop it here okay so now we will select our enemy and uh, we will go to events here and on dead event here uh, you will see on dead we will add an event and we will drag drop weapon drop script here and we will select the function drop weapon weapon drop function okay so it's very easy now if we kill enemy then hopefully it will drop the weapon so let's see we have our player and i just choose the pistol uh, for our uh, basic inventory and now we can kill the enemy i just block the enemy detection for time for testing purpose and now we have killed the enemy and you can see we have this weapon now and we can collect this weapon and you can see we have a nice weapon in our back okay so that's uh, fantastic now we can definitely uh, do the same thing with the other enemies as well and you can see that this enemy just died and it didn't destroy itself okay so if we select enemy ai you will see certain options here uh, related to health and you can see remove components after death uh, here is the death and uh, actually uh, if we want to just remove the enemy from our scene then we can add another function okay so uh, I think we should create a function for destroy as well so let's uh, go to the same script and here we will create another function public wide and 
dead uh, destroy uh, enemy function and here in this function we can say that destroy and uh, we want to destroy our enemy and uh, that is game object and then we will pass it time uh, for it and I will just add 0.5 f for seconds so let's see and uh, uh, let's see what it will be now and here on dead function we will add another event and we will add the destroy event as well okay so we will select events uh, where it is yeah so we will add event on drop here and then we will select draw weapon and destroy enemy so in this way you can see that we have lot of other uh, functions here events here which we can use uh, and we can utilize for certain uh, purposes so now if we move and if we kill him uh, let's see what will happen so now he drops the gun and he didn't die uh, he didn't destroy because uh, uh, why he didn't destroy uh, I will check what is the problem and withholder and it should destroy actually and destroy game object and actually we are making some mistake I think so destroy game object unity let's see the manual and uh, here you can see destroy game object we are fine here and the game object five seconds that is also fine and I don't know why the face the problem so just add this the destroy game object and now let's test it without seconds I just want to analyze although there should be a feature I think for destruction or enemy I think in, in vector itself because I didn't explore it explore the everything so I will check it out that's why maybe it's not working so let's see mm, so it's not destroyed okay that thing we will check later on that why is not destroying so that's it for this video we have successfully created created a weapon drop system uh, in our game let's meet in next video goodbye